What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and today my fellow agents I am starting a new series at the channel where every Sunday morning I put together a video truly designed for new and returning players and today we're going to be talking about targeted loot as that is one of the best systems in the game which is going to help us farm for items we are currently missing in our inventory. Now, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. And we do have giveaways, but I will save that info until the end of the video. We're going to jump right into the details. Now, as most of you know, when you look at your map on a daily basis, you are going to see a prompt in the bottom left hand corner, which will tell you exactly how to show the targeted loot for that day. And when you open it up, you're going to see what you can farm for and where you can find it. So for instance, on the day that I'm recording this video, if I wanted to farm for Richter and Kai, I would hit up Lincoln Memorial and if I wanted to farm for assault rifles I would hit up Judiciary Square. Now it is very important to mention that while targeted loot does increase the chances of you're getting a certain item or weapon type it is not a guarantee that is the only thing you're going to get and finally I want you to notice when you look at the map you will see small icons and large ones. The small ones are going to indicate the targeted loot that is behind a mission on a specific day and the large ones will indicate the targeted loot that is in the open world such as hitting up control points are just running around the map and doing your thing. That now brings us to talking about difficulty and directives and in order to change that for a level 40 character at the very bottom you can see there's a prompt that says global settings. Once you press that you will be taken to this page and this is where you're going to choose the world difficulty that you play on. Now most of you know you always want to play this game in the highest difficulty possible because that is always going to equate to much better loot and always remember not only do you have the option of changing this anytime you want but when you choose a difficulty let's say you pick heroic that also means every mission you hit up will automatically be set to heroic as well however just like in the open world you do have the option of changing that anytime you want which takes us to the topic of global directives and as you can see the description reads as follows activating directives will let you change how you play the game you can have more than one directive active at the same time now activating directives will not only give you extra XP each active directive slightly increases the chance for a targeted loot item to drop alongside a regular piece of loot and remember as I said before using directives is completely and totally optional it is not required in any way shape or form and as far as which ones you choose to play with that is going to be dependent on your play style as well as what type of build you're using and when it comes to my experience with these directives I mean there are sometimes I could have like four active and I get nothing whatsoever I turn them off I get the loot I'm looking for so again my fellow agents it boils down to good farming sessions and bad ones and obviously I wish you nothing but the the best of luck. Now I think it's more than safe to say that many of you out there would agree with the fact that if you are trying to get a specific item in the game hitting up summit and hitting up countdown is the best way to farm because in both of those game modes you have the option of choosing your targeted loot anytime you want and not only that you can switch it up on the fly. Now we are going to start at the summit and one thing people forget about sometimes in the summit is that you can choose up to 10 directives if you want. Now honestly I usually keep it around six or seven but as I mentioned previously that does not mean that you're going to necessarily always get more of the targeted loot you're looking for yes it will increase the chance but you'll see here in a moment I take out an NPC while I have seven directives running I get one piece of targeted loot right after that I go back to floor 10 take out another NPC no directives whatsoever and you'll see once again I get one piece of targeted loot now it's very important to mention this is a very small sample size that I'm showing you I'm playing as a solo player which takes me to one of the most important factors when it comes to farming in this this game and that is that you want to be efficient with your time so if that means you need to drop some directives and work on your build and then choose to increase them at a later point that is exactly what I recommend doing last but not least today my friends we are going to talk about the best way to farm for loot in the game without a doubt that is by playing countdown because not only can you choose your targeted loot just like in the summit but every time you clear a round of countdown you're going to earn countdown resources with those you go to the countdown vendor you can buy different caches name caches exactly out of caches a bunch of different stuff and for those of you out there who may be looking for a beginner's guide on how to play countdown I will leave a link to a video I put out about a week ago hope it helps you out my friends and as always if you have questions comments or feedback please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can now as I mentioned at the beginning of the video we do have giveaways here our current one is for an Xbox Series S to enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced April 4th of this year on that note I want to thank you all for your incredible support of this channel I sincerely appreciate the privilege of your time and as I mentioned at the end of every one of these 
Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. All right, my fellow agents, so I'm on the hunt for a Badger Tough chess piece. I need a double crit Badger Tough chess piece. Did I say that right? Double crit, right. Badger Tough chess piece with Intimidate on it. Because I just can't find one, no matter what I do. It doesn't work. So we're trying to get one of those in countdown right now. Hopefully it works. I'm going to clear this thing really quick. And uh, yeah, oh, who put down a hive? Oh, no. You know what? I'm just going to jump to the end of this. Um, yeah, I'm going to be quiet till then. Let's see if the hive murders everyone once we get to the hunters. Oh, no. I'm a little bit worried. Good work, Agent. You saved the plant. Move to extraction point. Torres is waiting for your signal. Shoot off a flare when you're ready to come home. Alright, my friends, I, I said this in a video yesterday, if you're playing Countdown, do not drop a Hive, do not use a turret, do not use a Seeker Mine, do not use a, an Assault Drone, because you will murder everyone. We are down to... Uh, one person got disconnected. But remember, Hunters can hack those skills and they will murder everyone in your group, and that just sucks. You know what I mean? So anyway, just pay attention to those details, because... This is where you're going to get the majority of your good loot, so you don't want to die when you get here, because that sucks. So anyway, we are going to get uh, to the base of operations. We'll see if I finally got the body armor I'm looking for. Okie dokie. Let's see what we got. Let's scroll down to body armor. Okay, don't need this. Let's check it out real quick. No, thank you. Okay, Caesar's Guard. Don't need it. Don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, what do we got? No, we got Hasbro and Headshot. Don't need that one. Hasbro status. Nope. Don't need this one either. It's good, but I already have one like that. Oh, this one's pretty sick. But again, I have one just like that. Uh... Okay, I can take, I can deal with this one. This isn't a total loss. Change the health to uh, crit damage. Max the armor, zero Fs. Okay, we got something out of this. And on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. Hope it helps you out, my friends. And remember, I failed to mention this yesterday, but you know, when you're playing Countdown, the other great benefit, and I'm pretty sure I said this at the beginning of this video, but um, you're going to get those Countdown resources by caches. Totally forgot to mention that in a countdown beginner's guide. I forgot that. So sorry about that. Let's see what we get from this. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. And I will see you in the next one, my friends.